Hello, I'm Honoka Kiso, CEO of Trojan Biopharma. Today, I would like to introduce our game-changing antibody drug for tooth regeneration. Trojan is a company established as a startup from Kyoto University in 2020 based on the research of Dr. Katsu Takahashi. Dr. Takahashi has been studying tooth regeneration for over 20 years with various support. We have succeeded in acquiring an anti-US AZ1 antibodies that has a tooth growth effect and established a company with aim of uh, delivering it to patients who lost their teeth. The starting point of our research was the encounter with mice, which lacked US AZ1 gene, but still developed teeth by activating the tooth buds. US AZ1 is a bifunctional protein that antagonizes BMP and wind, the two, two signaling molecules essential for tooth development. 97% US AZ1 amino acid sequence homology in mice, ferrets, and humans. Based on this finding, we tested whether in activating USAG1, USAG1 antibodies would result in similar outcome, and we confirmed the result by using mouse anti-USAG1 antibodies. <laughs> mouse anti-USAG1 antibody was administered to mice and ferrets, and the effect of growing extra teeth was confirmed. This result was published in Science Advances last year. We humanized three antibodies that are effective in growing teeth when administered to mice and ferrets. Their bifunctional activity was successfully confirmed. We selected development candidate TLD035 and started consultation with PMDA. Tooth loss can be congenital and acquired. Caries and periodontal diseases are the most common reasons for acquired tooth loss, but there are diseases that lack permanent teeth congenitally. About 10% of children are suffering from partial permanent tooth loss. At present, we have no choice but to tell parents that their child's permanent teeth are not growing and that there is no radical treatment. Current treatment options for such patients are dentures or getting dental implant. The current treatment period for congenital anodontia is over 20 years. Dental implants cannot be applied until around the age of 20 when jaw bone growth stops. Until then, they must make dentures repeatedly as they grow. Biting force is important for jaw bone growth and patients often require oral and maxillofacial surgery to create the jaw bone for dental implant treatment. Now, there is no radical cure, but our antibodies could lead to normal tooth growth with the alveolar bone for these patients. Several causative genes are known for congenital anodontia, which are common to humans and mice. It is known that tooth buds can be formed, but tooth development stops prematurely. It has been confirmed that the number of teeth is restored by the administration of our antibodies to congenital anodontia model mice, EDA gene 
a rock mouse. Our aim is to inject one shot antibody to treat congenital or partial tooth loss patient for tooth regeneration. Ultimately, we would like to aim for tooth regeneration by local injection for the third tooth as well. As you can see, we have three different indications to treat congenital, partial, and acquired tooth loss. The target of number one and number two is same, and if antibodies for number one indication will be successful, it would be technically more feasible and quicker to adapt to treat patients in number two indication. Currently, we are performing further research analysis to treat third dentition with number three indication. Treatment with dentures and dental implant is the main treatment, and tooth regeneration by tissue engineering is also being attempted, but there are problems such as cost and safety. Our technology provides the only solution to regenerate teeth with pharmaceuticals. Our regeneration drug is a first-in-class drug. We hope we can give a game-changing antibody drug for tooth regeneration. Series A have already been procured. During this phase, we are proceeding with congenital safety, no clinical safety trials, GMP preparation, and clinical trial planning. Phase one clinical trial is scheduled to start in 2024. We aim to launch as an antibody drug for congenital anodontia in Japan in 2030. The development of TRG035 is the result of Dr. Takahashi's research over more than 20 years, and the research members of Trojan and Takahashi's group are same. We are deeply grateful to the researchers involved. We are looking for a partnership with a pharmaceutical company interested in dentistry and a partner in diagnostic tools. Please help us to realize a society where we are not afraid to lose our teeth. Thank you very much.